just exciting time with everything going on, so can't wait. Marketing strategies I've been doing is really working. This listing challenge has just fired me up. So guys, super exciting news. I woke up this morning and I had my third sale. It is day seven and I'm in, I have five listings to post today, a lot of videos to film. So super excited to see how the rest of the week goes. Just exciting time with everything going on. So can't wait and I'll keep you guys updated. I'm running to the gym right now cause I'm a little bit late. I kind of slept in, snooze my alarm. So gonna go <laughs> work out and get my day started. Alrighty, exercise done for day seven. Worked out, probably gonna try to walk a mile later. We'll see. Here I go, I'm gonna get ready for the day, film and edit my crash course. I'm revamping that, then I'll do my five listings and then we're going to see a Cubs game tonight in the city. So exciting stuff, can't wait. Good morning guys. So I went, I worked out and now I'm back home. So yesterday I checked my stats on the new Etsy shop and the new Etsy shop has a total of three sales. I had a second one last minute last night. My marketing strategies I've been doing is really working. The pricing structure I think is very competitive and my designs are just so different that I think a lot of people are like seeing like, oh, no other shop offers this stuff. So I think just bringing a new design and new types of products to these niches and categories on Etsy may like really pay off in the long haul. So anyways, I'm super excited about that. I literally am just like over the moon that I'm getting so many sales now and that it's actually like doing the thing because for a little bit, I'm not gonna lie, I was like, what if I start a store and you know, what if all the things that I know to be true with Etsy and print on demand, what if they don't work like in 2023? I mean, it's a valid question. And I think a lot of people ask me that quite often is, oh, you started in 2020, 2021 time. How does that compare to now? And how do you get sales now? And I honestly think the trajectory of Etsy will be more skewed to people who run ads because I did not have this amount of sales until now. Don't mind me, I'm like looking at my viewfinder as I do my makeup. I have a super busy day today, like I was saying earlier. I am going to film quite a bit. I have a few different videos for tutorials I'm gonna film. And then on top of that, I'm updating my free course, the print on demand crash course. That was actually my first course like ever guys. So I had some people who said, oh, this course is outdated. And it's so funny cause I was just learning how to, I don't know, just be a teacher in this element. So my first videos were so awkward. It's just so funny looking back now at how I've transformed as someone online where I really have built up my confidence. Like, I'm not gonna lie, when I first started, you know, I just thought I was just your average person. Like, I was like, I'm just your average person and I still am. Like, I still do think that I'm not like sitting here like, oh, I'm gonna be this massive person on the internet. I'm not, I'm just like a lot of other people. I have a lot of dreams. I aspire to really have my own businesses and make them long-term and sustainable. I think that's what people don't talk about a lot on the online internet space or a lot of people just, like when I first started, it was like, oh, how can I get a quick amount of money in a short period of time, you know? I mean, if you don't see those results right away, if you don't see a sale in your first month or so, it is very disheartening and it's discouraging to keep going and I think that's what I initially want to get people and that's why I like running the 21 day challenge because the likelihood of getting a first organic sale by doing a challenge like that and keeping people accountable to their goals rather than letting them quit out early that's what I like about the 21 day challenge and that's my initial goal is to get people into this have them see some form of a win to see that, hey, this is possible for a lot of people. I think that's what I really want 
and also just the ability to work with me and I can let people know, okay, well, this is why these designs are maybe the reason why you're not getting sales or this is why you could get a lot more sales. It's a whole culmination of things to sell online. And at the end of the day, you're marketing towards people. And I think that's what a lot of people get wrapped up in is marketing towards an algorithm. People are who is going to buy your items and what people crave is something different. And yes, sometimes a lot of people like to go with what's already on Etsy and what's already trending. But if you can make your own path on Etsy and create items that no one else is selling. Anyways, I'm gonna change where my camera is pointed because I feel like I look like a troll also. My place is such a wreck right now. Like we have such a mess in our place. I, oh my God, this hair. Look at this hair. Ooh. I have to, I'm gonna curl this and wave it and then we're gonna get to filming today. So anyways, I'm done with my deep convos. I am going to do my eye makeup gonna do my hair and we're gonna get to filming today so wish me luck hopefully i can crank this all out in the next three hours that is my goal three hours i film i edit the print on demand crash course maybe get the first few videos up and yeah i have to call into this dress place to order a dress as well for the wedding i'm ordering late because i bought one dress and the first dress i got i realized that I don't wanna wear it for when I walk down the aisle. It just doesn't feel like me anymore. And that's what's so tough about the wedding industry is you have to order a dress like six months before if you want it like custom or anything. But for six months, you're thinking about that dress and it's like, I think I made a mistake. And I'm pretty sure I did. So last minute ordering a dress for the wedding. So we'll see, we'll see how this goes. We'll see if I get it in time. I think I will, but I have to call in once their shop opens. So I'm gonna do that this morning as well. But yeah, anyways, that's all. I feel like when I'm not filming, I just dress like a dad. Just wearing like dad shorts as I'm like doing my hair and makeup. Also, hi, who is she? I have like my eye makeup done. I swear eye makeup makes my eyes look so different. I mean, you guys see from my videos how different I look with and without eye makeup. It's insane. is done. Time to have breakfast and drink some coffee. So <laughs> this is my life hack. I order a venti cold brew without any ice and then I just use this and pour a little like a third of it out each day for my coffee. So pro tip to those of you looking to save money on coffee, order a large, no ice, put it in the fridge, and then you have coffee basically for a few days. Also, the creamer I use is the Cold Stone Creamer, sweet cream, so good. Tastes a lot like the vanilla sweet cream at Starbucks, so that's what I usually get, but since I save my coffee for three days, I don't get the vanilla sweet cream anymore, I just get a venti cold brew. Here is some sauce. So, I think I squeezed too much on, oops. That doesn't taste good. I think I used the wrong sauce. I think I need to do like a, a pico or guac in this. It's like missing something. Yeah, it's kind of good though. The more I eat it, I'm just so hungry. It's tasting better the more I eat it. I give this taco like a maybe like four out of 10. It needs some work. I know this is like lower calorie and high protein. So <laughs> I guess that's the plus. Anyways, I'm gonna eat the rest of my lunch. 
take a break for 15, then I'm gonna get back to filming. I have two more videos I hope to film today. So June is pretty much done with as far as my YouTube videos go. And then I am ahead of the game. So here we go. Hey guys, it's Heather. So today we are talking about a really important topic as far as Etsy copyright infringement goes and staying away from the line of infringement in your Etsy business. Okay guys, so I filmed four videos today. It was a lot. I'm so happy I had the break. I ate my snack in between. This is how my desk looks right now. It is like such a mess because I've literally just been filming, 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 and now I'm just uploading. I have a lot of videos to upload. I'm going to do my five listings next. I'm going to go through my email, try to answer some people in school, and then I have to prepare my PowerPoint for tomorrow for the 21 day challenge. Since I'm going live for three weeks, I try to take all of the questions that people have during the challenge and put them into a PowerPoint where I try to include screenshots and help with any other questions that they have during that live call. So excited for that and excited to see where everyone is in the challenge. I'm also screenshotting everyone's wins in the challenge and I'm putting them in a slide deck as well to congratulate them because we've had, I think, a handful of students get their first sales now. A lot of people have gotten their first challenge sales. So I just wanna congratulate and celebrate everyone in the challenge right now. Super excited to do that tomorrow, but outside of that, it is 2 p.m. We are leaving at 5 p.m. So I have three hours to get my butt into gear and get this stuff up. So we're gonna do it. We are going to do it. I officially did most of what I wanted to do today. The only thing I didn't do was edit the print on demand crash course at all, but I got my slide decks done for the live Q&A call tomorrow and I have a bunch of students I'm celebrating tomorrow, which I'm super excited about. And I also posted my five listings. I actually did 10 listings. I can't like not do more than five now because I'm so inspired and I really have the ball rolling on uploading listings. So this listing challenge has just fired me up and Honestly, I think this new shop, it's going to do really, really good this year if it keeps going at this rate. So I am done for now. We are going to a Cubs versus Cardinals game tonight. So that will be exciting. And I'm just uploading videos. I am going to relax now and stop working for the day. That is for sure. <laughs> So I'm waiting and just preparing for my live call today and... 